open your mouth and say, hey, you got to leave this house with an excellent spirit, a spirit of devotion, a spirit of thanksgiving, a spirit that says, Lord, I can't do it without you in my life, a spirit that says, even when I'm down in the valley, I'm going to look to God, which is the author and the finisher of my faith. Am I talking to somebody's spirit in the house of the Lord? Somebody open your mouth and tell your neighbor, you must carry an excellent spirit. When you have an excellent spirit, you will be chosen by God. Oh Lord God Almighty, somebody praise God. Praise God. Open your mouth and say, neighbor, neighbor, when you have an excellent spirit, you will have a gold. And touch your neighbor and say, that's not your gold watch. That's not your gold chain. That's not your gold ring. I say, you must have a gold, a dream a vision somebody ain't talking to me here open your mouth and say it's important to have a gold it's important to have a dream it's important to have your mind set on a destination set on something you want to accomplish somebody help me in the house am i talking to the church in here Glory to God, I don't feel like I'm in a fasting service. I feel like I'm in a Sunday morning worship. Somebody praise the name of the Lord here. Somebody tell your neighbor it's important for you to have a goal. It's important for you to have a dream. It's important for you to carry an excellent spirit. If you don't know where you're going, you will never arrive anywhere. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, if you don't know where you're going, you will never arrive anywhere. In a Jamaican term, you're not reach nowhere. Come on, now somebody touch your neighbor, say if you know where you go. Come on, you must have a dream, man. Have an ambition. Come on, somebody help me, no man. I want to talk to somebody now. I feel like I want to let loose, but God, I'm trying to control myself. In the house of the Lord, somebody talk to me. Touch a neighbor, say, you must have a dream. You must have a goal. You must have ambition. You must have something that tells you, in spite of everything, I will hang on until my change has come. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. And so it is important, brothers and sisters, for you to have a goal. It's important for you to have a dream. It's important for you to carry an excellent spirit. Watch me, brothers and sisters. Uh, Daniel had a goal. Daniel had a dream. Daniel had a mind made up. Daniel had his mind on the prize. Paul said, I must press towards the mark of the prize of the higher calling. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. And so as believers, so as people of God, we need to understand that wherever we are, we cannot do what we feel like, but we got to do the will of God. Am I talking to somebody here? You got to understand that that when God ready to pick you up uh, and turn you around, uh, even your haters uh, got to turn your celebrators. Uh, I wish I can talk to you. I say even those uh, who don't like you uh, have to celebrate you. Even those uh, who are tearing you down uh, have to lift you up. Uh, somebody ain't talking back to me. I say when God ready to expose you uh, to the world and the public even those who were there criticizing you, scandalizing you, talking all form of evil about you. When God done with you, he will allow your enemies to become your footstool. Somebody stamp your feet and say, my enemies is under my foot. My haters is under my foot. 
out I'm carrying the spirit of the living God in my life somebody shout a praise sit down hallelujah oh God Almighty oh Lord God Almighty oh Lord God Almighty somebody ask your neighbor one more time are oh, you carrying an excellent spirit do you have an excellent spirit inside of you come on somebody am I helping the church here am I helping the church here now you got to understand brothers and sisters amen that Daniel because he had a dream and because he had a focus amen uh, he was preferred above the presidents and the princes amen it means that there are many persons that are running for the office don't you never say many persons who are there where you're there well, about people who have to move you out of your position and God I'm trying to hold myself I'm not going over the edge of yet somebody praise the name of the Lord can I talk to you some more somebody look at your neighbor and say hey and everybody will laugh with you clap with you smile with you Lord will celebrate you some people want to tear you down some people are you move out of your position some people are you move out of your path but tell them like a tree that is planted by the rivers Lord I feel my anointing come on somebody in the house I shall not be moved somebody said can't move this can't shift this I am standing upon the rock and the rock is Jesus somebody shout hallelujah somebody shout touch your neighbor say neighbor I'm carrying an excellent spirit by the way look at somebody and say hey you're sitting beside me but you don't know me I'm a secret weapon we're getting ready to be revealed somebody don't hear me in the house somebody tell your neighbor I'm a secret weapon when the devil comes in to eat up your flesh they must stop they must fall come on somebody the one house may encamp it round about you in God somebody lift your voice and say in God I say in God I say in God shall I be confident somebody shout a praise Daniel had an excellent spirit. Somebody praise God. And once you have an excellent spirit, the Lord will establish you. He will establish your gold. Somebody praise God. Touch a neighbor said, we must purpose in our life to be spiritual. Come on, somebody. I am tired of the carbon copies. I am tired of the orange come up. I am tired of the people only acting. Don't you never say you must purpose in your life. Purpose in yourself. You got to live a spiritual life. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. And when I say live a spiritual life, I don't mean you come at church on a Monday. But for the rest of the week or on a Saturday or any day during the week, you do up at the bomb yard. You do up at the gambling house. Yo, you know what? Talk to me here. You do up at, oh Lord God Almighty. You do up at the laptop shop. I live in any life. Touch your neighbor say, I must purpose in my life to live a spirit filled, sold out, born again, blood wash, sanctify, consecrated life. Touch your neighbor and say it at but us. Come on, open the mouth and say it at but us. Come on, somebody. I know this is not what you really want. But I can't help myself from telling you you need an excellent spirit. 
If you're going to get a miracle today, you need an excellent spirit. If you're going to get a breakthrough today, you need an excellent spirit. If you're going to get anything from God, if you're going to get your promotion, you need an excellent spirit. So we must purpose to live a spiritual life. Somebody praise God. Daniel purpose in his life to live a spiritual life. And that's why he was preferred above the presidents. Glory to God. When we understand, amen, in our life and in our society, amen, the desire of the flesh, amen, is so rampant. Amen, glory to God. The desires of the flesh, amen, is so strong and is leading. Amen, glory to God. The people are away. And that's why the Bible said in the book of Matthew chapter 24, amen, when the disciple came to him and they were showing him the building of the temple, the Lord said, there there shall not be one stone sat on another that shall not be thrown down. Are you hearing me? Somebody praise the name of the Lord. And the Bible also declare that we got to be careful for in the last days perilous times shall come and many shall be deceived. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. But somebody open your mouth and say I will purpose in my life to live spiritual, to live holy, to to walk by his precept, to walk by his word. Somebody praise God in the house. Somebody shout a hallelujah. And so the Bible says that the president that was selected with the president Daniel. They sought a way to grudge him. Oh, God have mercy. Oh, Lord, God have mercy. They sought a way to kill his dream. Ask your neighbor, do you have some of those folks in your lives? Oh, glory to God. They're looking for a way to destroy you. Oh, what is oh my God, somebody better pray for me here. I hear your Holy Ghost. They say you should not get the position that you get. They say you should not get the house you get. They say you should not marry to the man or the woman you marry to. They say you should not look the way you look. But touch a neighbor. Say I had purpose in my heart to live holy. And the Lord selected. Somebody say no weapon. Somebody say no tongue. Somebody say no weapon. Somebody say no demons. Somebody say no weapon. Somebody say no assignment. Somebody say no weapon. Somebody's looking and seeking a way how they can destroy you. And when them check you out, oh glory to God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Kadaraba Shando Librunda Zendorabo Hosanda Rabahai. I said, when them check you out, they can't find, they can't find nothing. Touch your neighbor say because of the spirit of excellence. Some people will only talk about you and spread propaganda. I want to help somebody in your house, in a man. I want to help somebody in here. I want to help somebody in here. People will talk stuff that they don't know about you. But tell your neighbor, let them talk. Oh yes, oh yes, let them talk, let them talk, let them talk, let them talk, let them talk. Let them talk. Let them talk. Yeah. 
You're living an excellent life. You're living a, a sold out life. You're living a life uh, that God's honor. You live a life uh, that God is pleased with. Touch your neighbor and say, I must live holy. I have learned that whenever you carry an excellent spirit, you must prepare for the attackers and they can come from any angle. That's why Peter says, be sober. Come on, can I preach Bible here? He said, be vigilant. For your adversary, the devil, is as a warring lion seeking whom he may devour or destroy. But somebody lift your hand where you are and say, if God be for me, who can be against me? If God anoint me and call me and appoint me and commission me, I am the fruit of the heavenlies. Touch your neighbor and give God praise. Oh, glory to God. Somebody's looking away. How to set you up? But every time they put up their dots and derricks, oh God have mercy, they thought they would have trapped you. But every time they set you up, God just lift you a little bit higher. Oh, you're talking to me in the house. Somebody talking to me in the house. God allow you to stand up. That's why the Lord said, I will lift up a standard against Olabande Reboshan. Open your mouth and say, Only with your eyes shall thou see the reward. My God, the preacher is here, you know. Me just I help you out. Me just, me just I share something with you. So if you're going to get your miracle today, you need an excellent spirit. If you're going to get healing and deliverance today, you need an excellent spirit. But while you're carrying an excellent spirit, the reason why some of you come here is because while you're carrying an excellent spirit, the war is on, the battle is hot, and you feel like you can't do it all alone. But somebody tell your neighbor, while the enemy are planning, God will wipe out. But he tell me to tell you, if you are my child and I am your father he said no weapon oh Lord God Almighty somebody said no weapon somebody said no weapon so watch this Watch this. Daniel was selected or preferred to be the leader of all the presidents. Oh, thank you, Lord. Somebody look at your name and say, neighbor, you're about to be promoted. You're going to be promoted to an office you did not deserve, but because of excellence. He was selected to be the leader or the head over the providence. And the Bible declare that the other presidents and princes that were around and selected with him, guess what? 
they start to rise up against him. They start to tear him down. They start to talk about him. Say all manner of evil about him. And they could not find no accusation with his life because the Lord would have ensured that even when he did not dot his eyes, his heart was dot. When he did not cross his T's, his T's was crossed. You ain't talking to me, Lord. Somebody ain't talking to me here. And so they could not find any accusation against him. So they say we must find one with his God. It's got your neighbor and say, neighbor. It is one thing to trouble what I have. I want to preach this thing in the house. I want to help somebody in the house, I'm a bear. It's one thing to mess with my health. It's one thing to mess with my house. It's one thing to mess with my job. It's one thing to mess with everything that I have. But I dare you to mess with the God that I serve. You ain't talking to me. You ain't talking to me. That's your neighbor a neighbor. That one you got to leave alone. Hello somebody. Oh glory to God. Somebody touch a neighbor a neighbor. They can touch everything. But I dare them to mess with the God you praise. I dare them to mess with your worship. I dare them to mess with your shout. I dare them to mess with your consecrated life. I dare somebody to mess with your prayer, to mess with your time spent in the word of the living God, which is the word. When I dwell in it, I will not sin. Somebody say, I dare you to mess with my worship. And that's what the prince does. They desire to find an accusation with his God. Touch your neighbor say, you can't fight against my God and win. Oh God, I better come down and release this microphone. I say, you can't fight against my God and win. Somebody find about three persons and tell them you can't fight against my God. You can't fight against my God and win. Somebody ain't talking back to me. Somebody open your mouth and tell three more persons. Some neighbor, you can't fight against the of your God. God, Lord Yeshua, yes, Jehovah Gabor, yes, Jehovah Adonai, that you never say you can't fight against my God and win. That your neighbor say, neighbor, the devil must know who's in trouble. You can't trouble some people. You can't trouble some stuff. But you can't trouble everything. Touch your neighbor says some stuff you can't put in your mouth in peppery. Oh, somebody now talk to me here. Some stuff you can't hold in your honey full of fire. Somebody ain't talking to me here. Touch your neighbor say not everything. You can't touch everything. You can destroy everything. You can mess up everything. Somebody open your mouth and say, I'm a live fire. <laughs> but what do allow Daniel to go through all of this? The fight where they went to the king Darius 
And said, Darius, I want you to make a decree to see who is faithful to you. My God, I hear your Holy Ghost. I got to say something. And I will say it without an apology. You cannot be faithful to a man or woman to the point where you lose your glory. Where you lose your anointing. Darius know that Daniel carries an excellent spirit and he knows that he respect him. Now, take your time, preacher, because this one is very hard and difficult for you to swallow. Darius helped Daniel. Darius been there for Daniel. Like was Daniel for him. But when it was time for him, glory to God, to say, I am praying. To the God that I serve. Daniel said, uh uh. Irks. Jar the brick. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor. You can't be so committed to a man and a woman where you miss the glory and you miss your, your, the, the prior connection where you have with the one that sustain you. It doesn't matter who they are. Don't sell out your glory and your anointing to nobody. Daniel said, eh, what do you mean I must not pray? You mean I must not pray? Don't you know it's prayer that keeps me alive? Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I wonder how some people get up and no pray. I want all some people just get, oh Lord God Almighty, then just get up every day. Lord God, about them business. When God provide them, never say thanks. When God wake them up, then I say good morning. When God has sent them and them bed, then I say good night. You know what I'm preaching at the house? Oh, some people do it. All right, just off the record, somebody touch your neighbor and say, oh, you do it. Oh, you do it. Wake up and not say nothing to God. God bless you. You don't say nothing to him. God deliver you. You don't tell him thanks. Oh, you do it. Then they say, can't work. Look, oh, Lord, look at two persons say, can't work. The spirit of excellence that is inside my life. Tell me I got to pray every day. The right up in the line is said, if you pray every day, you will grow. Somebody pray in the name of the Lord. And if you don't read your Bible and you don't pray, then you are gonna sink. Touch your neighbor say if you want to grow, pray and read your Bible, meditate upon God, and live a sacrifice and sacred life to the most high God. Hello, somebody. He said, for that I'm disobeying you. And even when he know that the decree was signed, at this time the man of God opened him window them. Open up all him door. I am not afraid of the terror, man. Not the harrow. Come on, somebody. Touch your neighbor and say, I'm not afraid. Up the arrow, not the terror, because the Lord is my deliverer. Woo. But it takes a spirit of excellence to look at the adversary and tell the adversary, you can do what you want to do. 
You can tell the devil, do your best. You can tell the devil, do what you think you can do. Do what you feel you can do. Look at your neighbor and say, let them do it all. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody said, tell them, let them do it all. For when they do it all and they wear out, it's my time to lift my hands. It's my time to shout hallelujah. It's my time to say, Lord, I did not be in for the Lord on my side. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth. He said, because of the spirit of excellence, he was a ruler. But like every ruler, and I'm coming down, huh, if you're going to rule, you got to go through the process. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. If you're going to rule, if you're going to lead, you got to go through some rough time. You're going to go through some hard season. You're going to go through some season when you just felt like it's just you alone. Oh, glory to God. Lord, I feel I got some of those folks in here today. I feel I got some of those folks in here today. You're going to go through the season where you say, God, I don't know I'm going to do it. But God, I'm committed to the task. Oh, glory to God. Somebody touch about two persons and say, stay committed. You just talk to the wrong person because if you talk to the right person, they would have come in agreement with you. Find the right one and say, stay committed. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Somebody praise the name of Jesus. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. So, Daniel opened his windows. And the more they talk about him, the more they set him up, and the more he opened the window them. And I load and pray. I come to announce to this church today, don't let no Jezebel from the pit of hell don't let no demons don't let no hypocrite allow you to lose your connection I want to help the church can I say it again don't let no Jezebel no let no hypocrites no let no backbiters and eaters allow you to lose the connection you have with almighty God a lot of person lose it a lot of person can't pray because they might listen to what people are saying Listen to me, only people not talk about you, nothing not go after you. Are you hearing me in the house? Are you hearing me in the house? Open them out as a neighbor, just live an excellent life. And carry an excellent spirit and let the glory of God reign over you. In that you're going out, in that you're coming in. Come on, somebody, open your mouth and say, The more them talk, the more you pray. The more them try to bring you down, the more you pray. The more them attack about you, the more you pray. The more them, oh Lord God Almighty, the more them put curse over your life, and the more you pray. And say, Reverse that. Somebody now talk to me. Somebody say, pray and reverse it. Pray and reverse it. Pray and reverse. You know why? 
Because if you stop praying, the enemy is going to have a loophole. The enemy is going to have an accusation. That's why he wanted Daniel to stop praying. But it didn't work. Even when them throw you in the lion's den. And I'm going to share this with you. Glory to God. Daniel prayed so much that when you see Daniel, he was a walking prayer. The devil was afraid of him. So when they put him in the lion's den, when he walk in, he could, oh Lord God, I, I want to help somebody. When he walk into the lion's den, I could just look at the lion and say, Lord, this is not food. I can't touch this one because his present was saying no weapon. Oh, somebody him talking to me. Somebody said no weapon. Somebody said no lion teeth. No lion craw can tear you up because you're covered by the blood. You're washed by the grace. Somebody lift up your hand and say I'm living a consecrated life. I'm carrying an excellent spirit. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will never lose his power. Some of your prison blood, goat blood, puss blood, dark blood, human blood, smell bad, stink. But the blood of Jesus, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn drawn from Emmanuel somebody say power power there is power power in the blood why because it's a divine blood it's a divine blood me no want no pigeon blood it's not divine no puss blood it's not divine no human blood. I'm closing this already. Jesus is the only begotten of the Father. Huh? The blood of Jesus availed for everything imaginable. If we're going to experience the power in the blood of Jesus, we have, we have to get personal and apply the blood. To our situation, touch your neighbor. Say, apply it, drink it, eat it, use it, apply it. The blood of Jesus is my weapon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is your what? Is my what? Somebody need a weapon today. Somebody have a battle to fight, an internal battle, an external battle, a family battle, financial battle, a sickness battle. Are you ready to war? Somebody holler, the blood of Jesus, the blood of, the blood of, the blood of, the blood of Jesus. Oh, you don't, you don't all those who want to go and use what they want to use and come at you with what they want to come at tell them you don't have to go nowhere you don't have to kill no foul uh -oh. you don't have to make no human sacrifice touch your neighbor say it has already been made it has already made it's God's power the blood has power. The blood has power. Jesus' blood has power. Power to deliver. 
power to heal power to lose power to save power to bless power somebody praise the Lord somebody say power there is power in the blood and somebody say what do I need to do pastor personally apply it to your life and apply it to your situation we apply the blood of Jesus by decree we confess it huh? the blood of Jesus speak better than the blood of Abel the blood of Jesus can speak destruction upon your enemies ah uh, you didn't hear that you didn't hear that Mr. you know if we go where them go you know if we go do what them do you know if we left your bed five o'clock in the morning go know where we kill them you have a weapon dangerous weapon when you use your weapon no other weapon the weapon of our warfare are not but they are mighty true God for the pulling down of the strong the blood of Jesus the blood of the blood of the blood of oh, you don't want it let me close it now I'm, I'm touching it the blood of Jesus speak destruction to your enemies. Or you think you don't know that? Huh? Huh? The blood of Jesus brings healing to your body. The blood of Jesus brings protection to your family. The blood of Jesus brings life to you. The Bible said the life of the flesh is in the blood. The blood of Jesus contains life of Jesus, divine life. The power for overcoming is in the blood. Huh? Now when you use it as a potent weapon, it's going to demolish every stronghold over your life. Are you ready today? Are you ready? Take up your bottle. Mix it together. All right, lift it up if you don't want to do that. Sadaba, sadaba. Come on. Somebody say, I got my weapon. Stand up. Lift up your water. Say, Lord, I have water and olive oil. Now transfuse it. Transform it with the blood of Jesus. I need power to demolish everything set up against my life in the name of Jesus now you you ready to help yourself take a drink power is coming power is coming drink. Something is going to happen in your belly. Something is going to happen in your head. Something is going to happen in your purse. Something is going to happen at home. The blood of Jesus is going to function powerfully today. Get ready. Now you're going to pray with me. After me. Krishna, get a mic and follow me. Help them to get the words loud and clear. You're going to pray. I said the crowd is big. You have to help you as I help you. Don't wait on no special nothing. Go aggressive. And watch God manifest. Push. Load like you're crazy. Now feel somebody belly under fire already. Mm, I can feel it. Something is moving. Fire of God. Somebody say thank you Father. For the benefits and the provision. Of the blood of Jesus. Say, I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus to proclaim victory over sin, Satan, and his agents in this world. I apply the blood of Jesus to every stubborn problem 
in my life I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body come on touch your body touch your body say over my body all your belly say I plead the blood of Jesus over my body from the top of my head to the sole of my feet I soak my body in the blood of Jesus come on catch some of that blood and wash you touch your body touch it there's a power there's a power there's a power there's a power, there's a power. oh somebody get ready there's an anointing use your water anoint your body. oh there's power in the blood here come on come on soak your body soak your body so echo Hallelujah! Blood power. Somebody holler the blood of Jesus. Woo! Come on, open your big mouth and say, I paralyze all satanic oppression. Delegating against me. I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against the power that is already poised to resist me by the blood of Jesus. I stand against every device of destruction in my life. I stand up on the word of God and declare myself unmovable in the name of Jesus let every door that I have opened to the enemy be closed with the blood of Jesus through the blood of Jesus I have been redeemed out of the hands of the devil so I walk in the light in the blood of Jesus through the blood of Jesus I am justified sanctified made holy with God through the blood of Jesus I have the life with the God through the blood of Jesus I have access to the presence of the Lord watch this lift up your weapon Let's attack. Let's attack. Somebody get ready. Loud, loud. We're going to kill Goliath. We're going to kill a giant in your life now. Lift up your water as a sword, like a sword. Say, I paralyze and cut off the head of Goliath. With the blood of Jesus. Say I paralyze. And cut off the head of Goliath. With the blood of Jesus. I curse. Every work of darkness. In my life. To dry up. From the root. With the blood of Jesus, I defeat, paralyze, and erase by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of demotion, failure at the edge of miracle, vision killers, marital problem, financial problem. Inherited problem. Dream attackers. One, two, three, circle yourself. Sit and get out of my circle. The blood of Jesus. Lord God. Lord God. Lord God. Lord. Yeah, hey, hey. Why, yeah, 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 yeah. Why, the blood. Hey. Why, 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 h
Whoa! Yes! See the, see the, see the, see the. Yes! Look there, look there. Whoa! See the, see the. The blood of Jesus. Lost, lost, lost. Oh, no, 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 no. Out. Vomit them, vomit them, out, out, out. Out, 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 out. Help her, help her. Yes, sir. The blood, are, ah, cover, cover. Bloodline, 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 bloodline. Bloodline, bloodline. Blood, 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 yes. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. Power in the blood. Power. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes. 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 Power. 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 Power, yeah. Power sister. Power. 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 Bloodline. Bloodline. Woo. At the count of seven to one. Every single person who come here for Jesus to help you, I want you to say, Jesus, I need help now. Jesus, I need help now. Loud and crazy. This place is going to be filled with fire in the next seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Launch! Up, up! Yeah, 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 yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shout, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Help, help, fire, fire, fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fire. Fire, 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 oh, 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 fire, 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 holy ghost, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Woo! Somebody said, Deliverer!